no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. I'm still in bed recovering from foot surgery and today I want to talk to you guys about a topic that you likely have not heard about, at least in a way that's been addressed correctly. And what inspired me to make this topic, which is about the number one cause of getting muscle injuries. What inspired me to make this video is I recently saw this video of this other guy addressing the topic pretty much and he sounded so confident, but he was wrong. Can't really go by looks in this industry, you really can't. These people, they look the part, but they don't know anything. They really don't. <laughs> Their ignorance is astounding. It's astounding. So let's talk about the number one cause of getting muscle injuries. The no no number one cause is a previous injury, and this is for two reasons. Sure, you, you could argue bad form, that's a big cause. Overuse, that's a big cause. Nope, number one cause is a previous injury. And it's for two reasons, let's talk, let's talk about the first reason. First reason is, let's say you strain a muscle and the muscle fibers tear. Once that happens, scar tissue forms. And scar tissue, it's stiffer and it's weaker than the original muscle tissue that was there. This is why hamstring injuries are so common, because once you tear the hamstrings, you can keep injuring yourself again and again and again. For example, let's say you're running. Whenever you run and you extend your leg rapidly, your hamstring muscles eccentrically contract, which is a muscle lengthening contraction. Your hamstrings do that to slow down the forward progression of your leg as you're extending it when you run. So let's say you injure your hamstrings, the scar tissue forms, now you run again and you extend your leg rapidly, that scar tissue, because it's stiffer and weaker, your hamstring muscles are lengthening, but then that scar tissue could then get torn again. This is why you could keep getting hamstring strains again and again and again. It's common, very common. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is this has to do with mu motor control and muscle memory. Because once you injure your body, your body's gonna change the way it's moving to keep yourself from getting injured again. So this could have to do with your shoulder, it could be your foot. For example, let's say you sprained your ankle. Now your body might change the way you're walking while you recover. So then you could go into a bad movement pattern and then you never get out of it. So then you could get an overuse injury because you're moving in such a way that you shouldn't be, then you get injured again. So this, this whole motor control thing, muscle memory thing, it's true. For example, when I was having foot issues, I would go into a $50,000 anti-gravity treadmill. I did that a few times, and I'd try to train myself to walk again, like a camera would be right in my face, while, and I could watch my feet while my body's being lifted up. So then I could practice and practice and practice, and once you do thousands of repetitions, you can get this new movement pattern. So your body goes and essentially gets injured, it could go into a new movement pattern and never get out of it. And then you, you might not, not even realize you're in this bad movement pattern. So essentially those are the two reasons why a previous injury is the number one cause of getting an, uh, an injury, essentially. So hopefully this taught you guys something new. And remember, I teach you guys so much. You gotta thumb it up, comment, subscribe, you really do. So anyways, this has been Jeff again, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.